Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Charnel House Trilogy. We are here with the second episode of Inhale. Book one? Yeah. Just gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. It's a bit too big to carry around. I mean, if you could reach it, that would be super uh, impressive. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. I can't see the train. I hope it shows up soon. I'm freezing. I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. I can't go off exploring forests right now. The train's coming. It's the middle of the night, right? An intellectual looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. So, hey, you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. <laughs> Last stop. <laughs> me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination. <laughs> oh, shit, my it's bad. It's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah. I won't pry any further, but you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. You most definitely hear it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. The porter can get it. A pile of luggage. I figured you would offer him a book of yours? Hey. What? An intellect. Hmm. It's a just gone midnight. Train tracks. I pro probably not. But what else can we do? Oh shit! You brought everything with you. In that case, I guess. I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin. I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction. Yeah. It's a classic. Sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. What is that right next to us on the ground? Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. 
Off you go now. Ah, I didn't get the chance to investigate. Well, well. What's this then? Who's a cute little doggy? Oh, we dropped a dog? Damn. I know just who like this. <coughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. <coughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon. And you'll be back home before you know it. Me fucking scoozy? Aye, I reckon so. Tell you one thing, I did not see that shit coming. Fair. Okay. Really? Well, fuck it then. Sepulchre it is. I mean... This one wasn't ever standalone, was it? That's like a... 30, 25 minute endeavor? Interesting. Sepulchre, let's get it. I might dust this project off without changing shirts, yeah, you know I man? Shit. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. Can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Okay, so we're not in control of Alex anymore? Okay. What do we have? It's nothing interesting. Yeah? Let me be the judge of that. What is that? Is that pyramid? I can't just can't say that. Shutters down. Shutters down. <sighs> no use. Stuck. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang. Curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. No sense in taking the entire thing. Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Comfy enough to sleep on. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Might hurt your wrists, right? It's nothing interesting. I do declare it's a doll. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Okay. Okay. I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm... I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... It's nothing interesting. I can't lug it around, can I? I can't just cart around any old thing. A painting of a train. 
Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. I mean, one B. A painting of an old. Yeah. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Maybe they're sleeping. Locked. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Kind of glad it was locked. Locked. I can't hear. A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. That painting on the wall... Isn't she a beaut? She runs like clockwork, so she does. It's... this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> You kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. What? <laughs> Practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you, if a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though. On one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Shot of whiskey for Don. Got it. And this right here? Can't even interact with it. Okay. Fair. Locked. I was about to say, did you use that automatically? That would have been neat. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. A solemn-looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Same thing. Ah. Yep. Same thing. Ah. Yep. Locked. No good. What? I can't even get the key in. It must be locked from the other side. Well, fuck, man. I gotta walk back. You padding out the game hours, bro? The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Oh. A huge black hold all. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red teardrop shaped gem set into the top. He doesn't look very well. He? That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Grub. Hello there. 
I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? Fucking Voldemort. He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. What happens if I touch his box? I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possession. How do you think that's one of his? Like, that might not be his most prized one, you know? There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well, give the boy time. Hey. So one of your fellow passengers popped their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pray a little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> Sly old fox. You could knock. Well... This was the right room. Hello? More large bags. More large bags. It's nothing interesting. What is this? Hold on. Fuck off. A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? I think I'll call him Sam. Okay. Intriguing. Can't be a coincidence. I wonder what's gonna happen when everything comes full circle. Are we all the same person? Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? He doesn't look too happy. I would neither if none of my dinner guests had shown up. Kind of a creepy fellow. And coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Nicely stocked. Just the way I like it. They've got a pretty good range, considering this is a train. Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh... Don't train, remember? Mr. Lang, that is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Thanks to put. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Appreciate you. Huh. It's empty. Floyd. 
flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. I don't think so. The whole thing? Why not? Well, I can't. Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Fill her up. something I want to try. What? Why not? Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin... Are oh, you kidding me? No. What was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. I'm no good with memorizing numbers. Ah. Huh. Well done. Hmm. I can't. Let's see. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Music. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. What was that? Did y'all see that? Okay. Boom, boom. And the rest for. Oh, man! No. Thank you. Cheeky shit. Could have saved like a swig or two what for yourself. What is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. Well, let's do it then. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends until the heavens from her womb. Interesting. A beautiful teardrop shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. Gemologist? It's firmly attached. But hey, I think I can move it. Do it, Dean. 
Got oh, okay. Locked. Locked. Ah, it's open. Oh, the box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? I don't rightly know, you know? Sir, what the fuck? He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. Okay. I'm sure it will make sense in a minute, right? Oh shit, oh. Lock. Okay. Hey, sir. Have a sniff at this. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Gettle? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you learn. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? I got you. Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassell? Can't say I've heard of him. He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. Now that will be just the ticket. <laughs> Get it? Hope Don likes it as much as I did. Well, you finished it. <laughs> what is that? Huh. Guess he won't be wanting the novel after all. Let's leave him be. Is this some bad ending shit? Ye. A handy hip flask. The initials KD are etched into the side. A key. On it is a carving of armor. Wait, an A, two A. Okay. And uh, two A. What? Where's the fucking key? Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. A faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. Was it still there? Was I not able to pick it up? Given I did use the examine key. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. Click on the door to teleport. What? I was hoping it would be locked. All right, here we go. Another large bag. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. I want to have a look inside. But this is somebody's bag. 
The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. Let's see what we got. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? More photos. My God! They're Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <sighs> Now, do we show it to homeboy? We're closest to him, so let's try it. Or is it locked now? Oh, we're done with him. Locked? We're done with him, okay. For good measure? Hey, broski. Oh, no. This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh god. Does that mean he's dead or? I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh god, get me out of this place. What have I done? A control panel of some sort. It's locked. I don't know what it does. Then we'll get to that in a minute. Rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? I think I'm gonna be sick. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Destroyed. Even look interesting. Well, there's nothing more I can do here. It doesn't seem like what the hell. this anymore I want to wake up do it I... this isn't not really a solemn I wonder if anything has changed in our room, but... Just please... It's... Can't break it. What? It's my place? Oh no. Take that. I can't just can't. Maybe we use the book? Huh, okay. So did I miss something in the restaurant then? Possible. 
It's either that or 2C. Shut it. Shut. Well, there's not. There's a bag. Oh. Oh, God. It's slumped against the door. Floyd? Don? My God. There's a. There's a. So you might want to fucking do something, mate, or, you know, kind of running out of options here. Hmm. I can't just fucking do it. Okay, all right. A toy train stuck in the dirt. This wasn't in the box before. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. We could probably fix that with... There. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. That keyhole here that we no. I just have to find something that's locked then. But what? Oh, maybe the control panel. That's what the game was telling me with the train. I'm on to you, man. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. Let's. The train's picking up speed. What? it open no no dear god what is this talk me through it man what is it earth nothing but earth pressed tight against the window this can't have just happened this can't be happening so this is not a train, it's a coffin. I can't breathe. There's no air. <coughs> Katrina. Please. Forgive me. I see. And man looked down upon the earth and the earth crawled up to something, bro. And that was Sepulcher. Next episode, we do exhale. And that will be it. Hope you guys enjoy this one, man. I'm out of here. Love y'all. And deuces.